What's up folks, welcome back. We are gonna get started on the teardown of this machine now so that we can start doing the Queen Bee Pro upgrade to it. Finally got all my projects done and got caught up so now I can tear apart the machine and not have anything hanging over my head. I'm gonna show you what parts we're gonna be keeping for the upgrade and what parts we're not gonna use whenever we put all the new stuff on. All right, so we're gonna get started. have everything taken apart we're going to go over all the stuff that we're going to keep obviously we're going to be keeping our cables and our wires and our water hookup for the water cooler if that's what you have um we're going to keep the waste board or we're going to replace it we have the three c bars these uh 40 by 80s with the gaps that are going to be filled you got three of these 20 by 40s. I believe it's 20 by 40. Yeah, 20 by 40s. You got the three longer ones and you got shorter ones. Now, it doesn't really matter what, uh, what size machine you actually have. Um, the principle of putting this together and taking it apart is all gonna be pretty much the same. And then you're gonna keep these other rails that are uh, what are these are 20 by 80s and the L brackets that go with it. There's four of those. And then you have your, your three long lead screws. All this stuff we're gonna be reutilizing. Over here, obviously you're gonna be keeping your motors, your four motors. This is uh, just an upgraded one. So if it looks different, that's why. So I have my four motors here. You're gonna have your, your Z axis um short c channel that you're going to be keeping your lead screw for that obviously your drag chain for uh the electronics that hook up to your your spindle and everything obviously your spindle spindle clamp all this is all going to be reutilized um if you're going to change it or you're going to update your machine this is opportune time to do so over here we're going to be keeping all of this stuff because we're going to be reusing it this is for the this is for the spindle water hookup, your stop switches, probably another good time to replace those if that's what you want to do. All your spacers, your different size screws, your end caps, you're going to be using these, your various uh, ball bearings and thrust bearings and all that if you're going to be, it's just a good idea to keep a hold of them. Part of this kit's gonna have new ones for some things and not for others, so make sure you have some backups. Your different size screws. There's gonna be plenty of screws, but keep a hold of the ones that you've got just in case. 
your ale brackets you're going to be keeping those uh, you're going to be using those and then your nut blocks make sure you keep your nut blocks because i'm pretty darn sure that we're going to be reutilizing that we put this back together but with different spacers that are going to be making it fit the new uh the new setup what we're not going to be using anymore we're not going to be using these plates with the rollers anymore so these you can get rid of and i think one of the most time consuming parts of putting together the uh the original uh work bee was this part with the wheels and and every little piece of each wheel you don't have to take this all apart to take it off just make sure you take your nut blocks off of here and slide them right off the rail save yourself a whole lot of trouble and this isn't trash necessarily i mean you could sell it you could keep it and build it on their machine you just need the excursions and i mean you know it's not going to be utilized i'm not going to utilize it but it's just personal preference of what you want to do with it but we're not going to be using it moving into the upgrade all your plates these are not going to be reused we're going to be applying new ones with the new kit so that's pretty much it on as far as disassembly and what we're going to reuse um this is uh was a lot easier to tear down than it was to put up that's for sure i think in general the queen bee kit is going to be just an easier machine to assemble period um you don't have all those wheels and all that everything else that you got to line up and tighten and whatever so i think this is going to go pretty quickly compared to what it was for the uh, first round so also from this point on if you have the queen bee pro kit all the assembly from this point on is going to be exactly the same so you could follow it and you can be able to put yours together if you're at a tricky spot and you don't understand something that's going on i guess for whatever reason they don't want to do pdfs anymore for their new machines or their, their new designs that they're coming out with but uh if you're anything like me i need to have something in my hand i can't just be going back and forth to a screen and, and referring to a screen i i like to have i like to have the instructions in my hand and and able to go back to where I'm at and dog ear a, a page or whatever it is. I made a PDF of it and that link will be below. So if you are like me and you need that printout and you want that printout in your hand, um, you can just go to the link below and uh, you can get a copy of this PDF. Also, if you guys are uh, new to my channel or uh, you haven't gotten the notification yet or whatever, I've got a pretty cool little project that's going on. Uh, besides this, um, I have uh, hawks that I do falconry, and uh, my pair of hawks right now are nesting, and my female, she's sitting on the, the nest now, and I have a live stream 24-7. Uh, as long as the internet doesn't go out every now and then, the power goes out sometimes, so besides those times, uh, it's pretty much live stream 24-7 on YouTube, and... Uh, Today is February 20th, um, 2021, and she's got about 18 or 19 days left until the hatching. So I'm going to leave the camera up on, on live, and if, it's, if you're watching this video anytime around that, go ahead and uh, hop over there on my channel and find the current link and, and check her out. It's pretty cool to watch her doing her thing, nesting, turning the eggs. They constantly are building the nest and then rebuilding it. And then obviously they're gonna be feeding and caring for the, the young as she raises those up. So that is it for this one. Um, next one, we're gonna start putting stuff together and getting this machine back up and running. All right guys, see you later.